I just love pressing. The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Hi ho the dairy o oh, the farmer in the dell. The farmer What's up YouTube? This is A Fitness Albert Aldridge and welcome to episode 2 of Add 20 kilograms to your bench press in two months. You having a laugh? So if you haven't checked out the first episode, what this is, is I am trying to add 20 kilograms to my bench press from the 1st of November until the 1st of January because that is when my bulk is going to finish. I'm hopefully going to reach 200 pounds and I'm going to start my cut then. I want to get my bench from 100 kilograms to 120 kilograms. Yes, it's very ambitious, but I'm definitely going to try and do it. I'm confident with my squat and deadlift. I've also got series going on for them, but my bench press, I'm a bit more apprehensive. No, that's the wrong word. I'm not sure if I'm going to achieve that goal, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Sorry, it's been a while since the previous episode it's just because uni assignments have been busy but pressing has been okay I'm doing a combination of touch and go paused benching like in the powerlifting meet and also when you start at the bottom of the rep so the bar is resting there on the safety rack and then you push from there but sometimes I've only got an hour and 15 minutes because I'm going to uni and I train in the morning so sometimes I just have to do a hypertrophy workout but I'm finding at the moment with my pause bench, when I come down, if I don't keep tight and I relax a little bit, then I press, I seem to have more power for some reason rather than keeping tight. And my previous PR, I think, was 92.5 kilograms for five sets of three. Uh, and in the footage, I did achieve further than that, but not for the five sets. So it's going okay, and I really do hope I can get to 120 kilograms. I'm fairly confident I can get to 110, but 120 is gonna be ambitious, but I'm gonna keep trying, and make sure you give it a try too. Make sure you leave a comment down below, and enjoy the footage. And we're rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling on a river. Do, 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 do. Anyway, sorry. With this first footage that you're going to see, this is a set of paused. I don't know what was going on with the camera here. It's slightly shaking. I'm very sorry about that. But as you can see, at the bottom, I like to push the bar a little bit into my body and then explode up. And I find I generate the most power with that. However, oh yeah, by the way here, you're going to see a little bit of me trying to press the 30 kilogram dumbbells for a shoulder press. I apologise about my lower back. It's slightly rounding and I did fail at trying to do that. I tried so many times, but I just couldn't get them up. But I will do eventually. Anyway, I'm finding in my left elbow, I'm getting a little bit of pain. With any of my pressing motions, I like to be very controlled and very careful, so I don't get any elbow pain. But I'm just having a slight little bit of elbow pain. And what I'm finding is that as I come down, my elbows aren't too flared out and they aren't too tucked in. They're around a 45 degree angle. I find I generate a lot of power this way. However, with this elbow pain, what I'm going to try is slightly flaring my elbows out a little bit more with all my pressing motions when I do touch and go, when I do pause, and when I do the reps when I start from the bottom of the movement on the safety rack. And I've done that for one session since this footage, and I did find it a little bit better. So I'm going to try that for a little bit more, and hopefully the elbow will improve because I don't want to stop any benching because... I've got only two months, well, less than two months now, about a month and a half to achieve the goals I want to achieve. So I'm not going to stop. Please recommend me any elbow supports that you guys might use as powerlifters, especially that you might find helpful to reduce any elbow pain because, you know, us bodybuilders and powerlifters, we don't like to stop training, especially when we have goals in mind. Guys, I really hope you enjoy this video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.